Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story called Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Lois Ellert. And this is perfect because earlier on our book hunt we found a caterpillar that looked very similar to that one, didn't we? Did you guys remember that video? And we also found a really teeny little green one. So that's why I thought I was inspired to read this book after finding those caterpillars in my yard. All right. Oh, Ten Little Calc Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. illustrated by Lois Ellert. Wow, boys and girls, notice all these leaves. Why do you think they might have holes in them? You think so? Let's find out. Might be a really good guess. Okay. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. Oh, can you find the caterpillar? This one is a tricky one. Look very, very carefully. Just like on our bug hunt, you have to have really good looking eyes to find it. Oh, you did find it? Oh, good point. Oh, I see you pointing to it. It's right there. And this is called a bower, apparently. That's a new vocabulary word. And this is called a wild horse. That's the type of flower, I think. Yes. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. Oh, let's use our good luck looking eyes to find this one. Is it on the delphinium? No, it's not on the delphinium. Is it on the uh, gallardia or blanket flower? No, I don't see it there. Is it on the foxglove? Oh, boys and girls, foxgloves are like what I have in my front yard. It's not on the foxglove. Oh, is it on the snapdragon? Yes, it is. You found it. There's the second little caterpillar. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. Here's some cabbage. Cabbage is a delicious food that we eat. People put it in salads, soups. Maybe it's kimchi. It's very good. And there's the little caterpillar. You found him. Can you find another insect on this page? Oh, check you out. You found it. The little beetle is right there. And there is another animal on the page too. Another animal from eggs that we've learned about. <gasps> that one is a toad. It's a relative of the frog. Okay, let's see. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. Wow, look at that watermelon. And you can see where is the caterpillar sitting? Is he on top of the watermelon or under the watermelon? You're right, he is on top. There he is. And look, there are two more little ladybugs. Okay, the fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. And look, there's a maple leaf, a poplar leaf, an oak leaf. And did you find the caterpillar hiding right on the oak leaf? This one really takes some good looking. Okay. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. Oh dear, someone found this little caterpillar. What do you think they're going to do with him? You think, you think they're going to watch him? Maybe put him in their science center and watch him turn into a butterfly? He's already nibbling on some leaves. And look, there's another bug on this page. Oh. Do you see a spider? A spider is actually not an insect. A spider is an arachnid because it has eight legs and insects only have six. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. Oh, boys and girls, a wren is a type of bird. Can you see the wren? Oh dear, do you think he's worried about being gobbled up? I don't know, I can't tell by his expression. Can you find the caterpillar? Oh, you did find it. Of course you did. You're just so smart. He's right there. And can you see the other insects on this page? You're right. There's a grasshopper and a dragonfly. You found them. I think you found all of them on this thistle plant. Okay, let's see what happens to the eighth one. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Oh dear, look, he's curling up in a ball. He definitely looks frightened. And that hen looks mighty hungry. I hope, I hope the caterpillar gets away. He was hiding right by a winter squash. See, I love winter squash. Those are so yummy. The ninth little caterpillar oh, fell into the sea. Oh dear. What do you think might happen to him? Really? Do you think he'll get away or do you think that little fish will eat him? I don't know. I hope he gets away. Although that fish looks awfully hungry. So maybe that would be good lunch. I don't know. The 10th little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Can you find that caterpillar? Oh, you did find him. There he is. And let's count how many apples were on this tree. One, 
two, three, four. Can you show me four fingers? Oh, you got it. That's one way to do four, yeah? All right, let's see. And hum there patiently. Oh, let's see. Do you see where it's, where did he go? It said he scaled an apple tree and hung there patiently. Can you see where he went? Oh, this one is so hard to find. This one, it says, is the tiger swallowtail's chrysalis. So it looks like a leaf, but it's not a leaf. It's the chrysalis where the caterpillar spun and he's growing into a butterfly inside. Let's see what happens when he comes out. That was really tricky to see. It blended in so well. That's what caterpillars do. They try to blend into their environment. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar. Oh, here he comes. And look, there's blossoms on the tree. And the bee, the tenth little caterpillar. What is going to happen? Became a butterfly. And right here, he's on a butterfly bush. That's the kind of plant I have in my backyard that grows so many butterflies. It's the home to so many butterflies. We really love that. And here are all the different kind of caterpillars we saw. We saw a morning cloak caterpillar that feeds on tree limbs, nettles, and wild rose leaves, and it turns into a butterfly. We saw a buckeye caterpillar that feeds on a variety of leaves, including snapdragon leaves, and it turns into a butterfly. We saw a cabbage looper caterpillar, and it devours leaves and likes garden crops, and it just turns into a moth. We saw a yellow bear caterpillar. It chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops, and it turns into a Virginian tiger moth. We saw, look at how interesting, even his eyes change color. He went from kind of a greenish blue to an orange. This yellow necked caterpillar turns into a moth and he feeds on tree leaves. Let's see what number six was. Number six is a monarch butterfly. We see monarchs here in California where I live. The monarch caterpillar eats only milkweed leaves and it turns into a beautiful butterfly. The painted lady caterpillar feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies and it also turns into a butterfly. And the woolly bear caterpillar eats many low growing plants, grasses and weeds and it turns into an Isabella tiger moth. And the common wood nymph caterpillar feeds on grasses in woods, in meadows and fields and it turns into a butterfly. I wonder if maybe that was the kind we found in my yard the other day. A little teeny green one that did have one little stripe of yellow. And number 10, the tiger swallowtail caterpillar. It eats shrubs and broadleaf tree leaves and it turns into a butterfly. There are so many types of caterpillars and butterflies and I really had fun learning about them and looking for them with you. And I hope you did too. Thanks for reading with me today, boys and girls.